anger, uh, a stab in the back, I felt like, because I've lived my whole life here and I've, you know, um, I've done everything that, you know, any Canadian does. And it, my religion has never stopped me from doing the things that I should be doing. World Teacher Day, a day to honor educators for the devotion they have for their students. But here in Quebec, Muslim teachers are worried, unsure if they'll even be allowed in the classroom by next World Teacher Day and what they'd have to give up just to keep their jobs. Maha Kassif has been teaching for over a decade and says her hijab has never come in the way of teaching her students. This is my passion. I've known I wanted to be a teacher since I was a little girl. So it's it's taking that away and, and it's it's in a way it's asking me to make a decision and to choose between my passion and what I love to do and my identity. And I don't think that's right. If it came down to it, Kassif says she would pick her faith over her dream job. Not even 24 hours after being elected Quebec's new premier, François Legault said he would use the notwithstanding clause to bar civil servants in positions of authority, judges, police officers and teachers from wearing any religious symbols or dress. Those who refuse would be reassigned or fired. Kassif and her husband spent a few years in Toronto before returning to Montreal. And she says they're actually considering leaving Quebec again if the religious symbol ban goes ahead, but not without putting up a fight first. This is home. This is all I've ever known. And I don't want to lose this fight. Like, I just, I don't, I don't want to see that this is happening. Not to my home. Opposition is growing to the incoming CAQ government. Religious and community groups have branded the party's policies racist. And a protest organized for this Sunday is expected to attract hundreds, if not thousands, of people. In Montreal, Andrew Brennan, City News.